Welcome to your virtual field trip at the TJC Earth and Space Science Center. Please come in and make your way to the planetarium. Hello everyone, my name is Alex McLean. I will be your host for our virtual field trip here at the TJC Earth and Space Science Center. Welcome, welcome. Now we're gonna be taking a look tonight to the west southwestern sky. There's a few constellations I'd like to show you real quick. Thankfully, they are made of nice bright stars and are pretty easy to find. Now, first we wanna get started by looking for a set of three bright stars right to the southwest western sky there. You'll see them right here. One, two, three, nice bright stars. Those are of course the three stars that make the belt of the famous hunter Orion, Orion the hunter himself. Now if we want to find the rest of the constellation, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. You definitely need to use your imagination quite a bit, but that's what I'm here to help you with. We're gonna start with his belt, and then we're gonna trace a line starting from this star right here down. There's a decently bright star. Let's call that one of the hunter's legs. We then, if we go to the other side of the belt, we could trace a line down here to this nice bright star. That is another leg. If you're curious what the name of this star is, by the way, it's got a really great name. It is called Rigel. And again, that is one of the hunter's legs. So we've got his legs and his belt. If we go above his belt, this is going to be in a slightly western direction. We're going to go up here. Now, this bright star right here has another name that I'm a big fan of. If you are a Harry Potter fan, you might recognize this one. It's called Bellatrix. Now, Orion the Hunter, of course, is a hunter, so we want to try and find his hunting bow. We can do so by starting with his shoulder here and tracing a line just like this towards the western horizon. Right to here. Now, can everyone see this arc of stars? You should. That makes a bit of a hunter's bow there. And that's how you find his bow. Now, if we want to find his other shoulder, we can go either from Bellatrix and up or from his belt and up to this nice bright star here. Now, I would like you to take a very close look at this star and think about what makes it look a bit unique compared to everything else you see here. You should look specifically at the color of this star. It is called Betelgeuse or Betelgeese. And this is a red supergiant star. It is a red color, sort of an orangish red color. That'll help differentiate from all the other stars in this constellation. Now that is, of course, one of the hunter's shoulders. So there we have it, Bellatrix and Betelgeese. Those are the hunter's shoulders. Now his head is represented by a small star here, small group of stars here. There's his head. And then he does have a hunter's arm, you could say, but his arm is made of pretty dim stars. Just think of it as going up in this direction. Now, of course, this is a lovely constellation. So very quickly here, I would like to show you what he looks like. Let's go ahead and 
put our selector there on Betelgeuse. You can actually see a couple of the star's other names in other areas of the world. Now there we go. You can see the hunter himself. There's that arm I spoke of stemming from Betelgeuse there. There is his other arm holding to his bow, his head there, his belt, of course, those three bright stars, and his legs. Very nice. All right, and of course, there he is in all his best grandeur. All right, now with that, we are going to leave him up there. I'm going to turn his artwork off, and we're going to use him to find another constellation. Now, this is the very beginning of what is called the Winter Triangle, and this is what our field trip is about today. So starting from Orion here, we're going to start yet again at his three bright stars that make his belt. It's a great starting point. And we're going to trace a line using those three stars this way, that's to the southwest, to this bright star here. Now, this is another star I'd like you to take a close look at. It should stand out from the other stars around it. That is because this is actually the brightest nighttime star. Its name is Sirius, and it is the brightest star in the constellation Canis Major, or the big dog. This is actually one of Orion's two hunting dogs we're looking for today. Now, if you want to find the rest of the dog, this one can be a little tricky, so bear with me here. Now, of course, we're going to start with the brightest star, Sirius, there. And then uh, just above it here in the southwestern sky, these three stars here trace a nice triangle. Let's call that the head of our little puppy dog, and then this is the base of the neck. Another easy thing to see is his leg going down to this bright star here. So there's one of his front legs. We can also see his back fairly clearly with the little wagging tail here. I always love that. And then, of course, he's got a leg there and a leg there. And then I guess you could see a belly in here somewhere. Now, that is the constellation Canis Major, or the great dog, one of Orion's hunting dogs. Let's go ahead and put our pointer on Sirius there, and we can see the full dog in all his awesomeness. In fact, of course, just like Orion. There we go. So we have Orion the Hunter, as well as Canis Major, the hunter and his hunting dog. All right, now we have one more constellation to find here. We're going to have to look pretty high in the sky, so keep your eyes. So there's the southwestern and western markers. We're going to have to go further up into the sky just a little bit. I'll try and keep western west there in view. Now, remember how I said we were looking specifically for a triangle shape in the sky, and we're going to be able to do that today. We have already found two points that make up the three points in this triangle. Remember, we started with Orion's belt. We traced a line using those three bright stars to find the bright star Sirius. So that's one, two points. Now, you can find the third point, this is the trickiest bit, by using the same line with Orion's belt and stopping about halfway. It's right here. From there, we're going to go straight up there in the western, southwestern sky to this bright star here. Can you see it? You should see it pretty well. It's nice and bright. That is the star called Procyon, and it is, well, one of only two stars in our third constellation here. In fact, so that's Procyon there. Our second star is this guy right here. Can you see it? It's not as bright. That is the entire constellation. It is made of only two stars. Let's go ahead and select Procyon there. And there we go. That is technically the constellation Canis Minor, or the little dog, the second of the hunter's hunting dogs, high in the western southwestern sky. Let's go ahead and bring our full view here. And I'm going to turn off the lines there. All right, so the hunter Orion with his, well, with his hunting equipment, that couldn't be seen as an animal skin or a hunting bow, by the way. I prefer to see a hunting bow. It's my imagination. Then we have, of course, Canis Major, the big dog, one of Orion's hunting dogs, and our third constellation is Canis Minor. I'm a pretty big fan of Canis Minor. I think he's pretty cute, though. If you bring, I'm going to bring back the lines. I think Canis Minor's a little bit more of a hot dog. He's made of only one line. How about that? All right. With that, thank you very much for 
for seeing our show today. This was our virtual field trip looking at the Winter Triangle. Don't forget, these constellations will be high at about, this is about 9 o'clock p.m. in the evening. This is in, to the west-southwest. There, you can see that. And they're definitely nice and high in the sky. Canis Minor is definitely the highest there. All right, with that, again, thank you for checking this out. This is one of our first attempts at our virtual field trip experiences. I hope you enjoyed, and I wish you best of luck. Stay safe out there and have a great rest of your day.